why hasn't the indus valley civilization language been deciphered isn't it vedic sanskrit vedic sanskrit is more than 10000 bc old etc uh, why do we see some other language in the inscriptions where are these people not the descendants of the vedic people okay what language do we see in the inscriptions which other language do we see in the inscriptions we don't know right we don't know what the inscriptions say because we haven't been able to decipher the script so we cannot make the claim that there is some other language in the inscriptions please understand that that's point number 1 secondly you are saying that the, the that vedic sanskrit is more than 10000 bc or 10000 12000 years old uh, uh, how did you come to this conclusion the oldest unambiguous evidence that we have of sanskrit is actually from anatolia the mitanni kingdom it's about 3 and 1/2000 years old in india there we must have been writing on paper or parchment or, or something and because of our climate all that has disintegrated or and we have not been able to find um uh, older evidence of sanskrit in india so thus far the oldest unmistakable evidence undeniable evidence of sanskrit is about 3 and 1/2000 years old it is an indication of an out of india migration from india into anatolia so we cannot make the claim as of today that vedic sanskrit is more than 10000 or 12000 years old because we do not possess sufficiently strong evidence for that i am quite sure that pre vedic sanskrit or proto sanskrit must have been 7 8 9 maybe 10000 years old i am quite sure of that but i cannot officially make the claim because i do not have hard evidence to back it up so as of today i will not make the claim that vedic sanskrit is 10000 or 12000 years old right now the other question is why hasn't the indus valley civilization language been deciphered thus far the answer is very simple because nobody has tried hard enough first of all we do not have a lot of uh, inscriptions we have a handful of inscriptions that have been discovered thus far and this uh, the script or the symbols are quite mystifying they are quite enigmatic we not sure if they re- represent individual letters of some alphabet or do they represent some syllables of speech or are they logograms are they pictograms are they hieroglyphics are they heraldic signs we are not quite sure and because we have so few of these inscriptions at hand that's why it it's it it, uh, it poses a, an, an even bigger challenge in deciphering this we don't have any other rosetta stone kind of uh, discovery which would put two different languages and scripts together of the same inscription right so we don't have these things that's why that is one of the reasons and secondly because people have been trying to decipher this half hazardly not working together there is no funding being being done being given to such an effort typically when you are trying to decipher a script you need a team of researchers from different disciplines coming together and working on it linguists computer scientists and other people historians all working together that's what you would want and for that to happen you need a certain amount of funding and a long term period of funding maybe 5 years or 10 years so that can only be done when a government or any other entity like that will get a bunch of people together set up an institution institute and fund all of that and that's not happened ever in india because the indian government doesn't care and that's why we have not been able to decipher this what needs to happen in my opinion is we need to bring computer science into this we need to digitize every single inscription that we have we need to analyze it using machine learning uh algorithms and all that and maybe that could be used to try and figure out what it is what sort of language does it match best so these are some of the things that can be done but thus far nobody has done it because i know that the same approach has been used to automatically translate egyptian hieroglyphics machine learning algorithms so why don't we apply this to the to the script of the sipta sindhu to the saraswati sindhu region we should do it but thus far nobody has taken the initiative 